Tesla claims that the rush of businesses to use its chargers will be profitable for both parties, and this may be true. Rebecca Tanucci, Senior Director of Charging Infrastructure at Tesla, stated in a statement regarding the Rivian development, We look forward to welcoming Rivian owners to thousands of our superchargers across North America. Welcome everyone. In today's video, we're going to look at Tesla and Rivian creating superchargers for cars. According to the upbeat perspective, everyone will benefit if every electric vehicle can use every charger, right? Yes, unless you drove one of the older models that has a walled-off area for charging, that is, a Tesla. But before we proceed further details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Tesla and Rivian creating superchargers for cars. R.G. Scaringe, CEO of Rivian, reacted predictably positively to the news, saying that the adoption of the North American charging standard will enable our existing and future customers to leverage Tesla's expansive supercharger network while we continue to build out our Rivian Adventure network. Scaringe's enthusiasm is understandable. Bitterfeld, Germany photograph taken on April 6 that represents the topic of electromobility at a building site at a motorway service station on April 6, 2023 in Bitterfeld, Germany. Tesla supercharger charging stations are being built. Although the adoption of NACS by Tesla's competitors immediately provides the company with hundreds of thousands of new charging customers, as well as licensing fees from manufacturers, the news is not as good for Tesla's own customers, who will now have to compete with larger crowds at the limited number of superchargers. According to Grant Larson, who owns a 2020 Tesla Model 3, it comes as quite a shock that they are allowing competing businesses to participate. The superchargers are already very congested, so having someone standing directly next to you will slow down the charging process. Consequently, I do not feel very enthusiastic about this development because owners of Tesla vehicles are unable to charge their vehicles in any other location using the same technology. The majority of other chargers are painfully slow. If, on the other hand, you are on the other side of these announcements and the supercharger drawbridge is on the way down, the promise of reliable fast charging would alleviate a significant amount of EV ownership-related discomfort. The following is a quote from Neil Matt, who owns a 2023 Mercedes EQS. The inability to access fast charging stations is easily the worst aspect of this vehicle for me. Every time I go, I have to stand in line as if we are experiencing a gas shortage from the 1970s. It would be incredible if Tesla made its chargers available to everybody and everyone. The German automaker Mercedes-Benz has not, as of yet, disclosed any intentions to adopt Tesla's charging standard. Rivian accelerates electrification through adoption of North American charging standard and access to Tesla's supercharger network for Rivian drivers. As early as spring 2024, Rivian will have an adapter that will make it possible for its award-winning R1T and R1S electric vehicles to charge via the supercharger network. Charge ports compliant with the North American Charging Standard, NACS, will be included as standard equipment in all of Rivian's subsequent R1 cars beginning in the year 2025, as well as in its forthcoming R2 platform. Because transportation accounts for more than a quarter of greenhouse gas emissions in the United States, there is an immediate and critical need to electrify this sector in order to preserve our globe for the benefit of future generations. This agreement, along with others like it, is vital for helping to speed the adoption of electric vehicles since it allows drivers to charge their vehicles at a wider number of sites. Tesla's Senior Director of Charging Infrastructure, Rebecca Tanucci, had this to say about the industry's move to embrace the North American charging standard. It's amazing to see the industry coming together to accept the standard. By doing so, we are collectively guaranteeing that all drivers of electric vehicles have access to charging hardware that is user-friendly and dependable. We are looking forward to seeing Rivian drivers at any one of the thousands of superchargers we have installed across the continent of North America. We are delighted to work with Tesla and to see collaborations like this help move the world toward carbon neutrality," said R.G. Scaringe, founder and CEO of Rivian.
We are excited to see collaborations like this help advance the world toward carbon neutrality. Our current and prospective customers will be able to take advantage of Tesla's extensive supercharger network thanks to the adoption of the North American Charging Standard, which will allow us to continue expanding the Rivian Adventure network at the same time. We are looking forward to finding other strategies to hasten the adoption of electric vehicles. Statements that look into the future. According to the Private Securities Litigation Reform Act of 1995, the following press release includes statements that are considered to be forward-looking statements. We expect for these types of forward-looking statements to be protected by the safe harbor provisions for forward-looking statements that are outlined in Section 27A of the Securities Act of 1933, as amended, and Section 21E of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, as amended. Forward-looking statements include but are not limited to statements regarding the anticipated timing and availability of the supercharger network and the incorporation of NAC as charge ports in our vehicles. All statements in this press release that do not relate to matters of historical fact should be considered forward-looking statements. In certain instances, you can recognize forward-looking statements by the use of terms such as may, will, should, expects, plans, anticipates, could, intends, targets, projects, contemplates, believes, estimates, forecasts, predicts, potential, or continue. Although not all forward-looking statements make use of these words or expressions, these forward-looking statements are largely based on our current expectations and projections about future events and financial trends that we believe may have an effect on our company's business, financial condition, and results of operations. We have done this in order to provide our readers with information that is as accurate and up-to-date as possible. There are known and unknown risks, uncertainties, and other important factors that could cause our actual results, performance, or achievements to be materially different from any future results, performance, or achievements expressed or implied by the forward-looking statements. These factors include, but are not limited to, the important factors discussed in Part 2, Item 1A, risk factors in our quarterly report on Form 10-Q for the quarter ended March 30, 2023. Forward-looking statements are not guarantees of future performance or results. The statements in this press release that are considered to be forward-looking are based on information that was available to us as of the date that this press release was issued. Although we believe that such information forms a reasonable basis for such statements, such information may be limited or incomplete, and our statements should not be read to indicate that we have conducted an exhaustive inquiry into or review of all potentially available relevant information. These assertions are fraught with inherent uncertainty, and investors are strongly advised not to place an excessive amount of reliance on them. Even if later events compel us to reassess our perspectives, we disclaim any obligation to update such forward-looking statements in the future, even though we may choose to do so at some point in the future. This concludes today's video. Please let me know in the comments below if decision of Rivian shock you. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.